this data uh, so far, uh, so far as I know, is the first data presented for by a specific antibody in combination with salvage chemo, uh, chemotherapy in patients eligible for autologous stem cell transplantation. So for these patients, uh, salvage chemo immunotherapy, such as the, the ones that you use, uh, ARDIHAC or ARDIHAC, um, followed by autologous stem cell transplantation is probably one of the few potentially curative treatment options that these patients have. But uh, however, half of these patients will not be finally eligible for transplant because of a suboptimal response to these uh, salvage chemo immunotherapy regimens. And for those able to undergo a transplant, uh, finally less than half will have a long-term revision. And, and moreover, patients uh, with uh, primary refractory disease, these patients have a particularly poor prognosis. So improving the quality of response to salvage chemo immunotherapy uh, may allow uh, for a higher proportion of these patients to proceed to, to transplant. So in this study, uh, um, we enroll 29 patients that include a high-risk population with high-risk uh, features. Uh, for instance, two-thirds of the patients were primary refractory patients. And the first thing I want to highlight is that the safety profile of this uh, combination with Epcritamab, with RDHAC or RDHAC was uh, manageable. All CRS events were low-grade and uh, did not impair the feasibility of a sub subsequent uh, transplant. And regarding efficacy, uh, this combination uh, demonstrated high response, uh, an overall uh, response rate, and also a, a, a high uh, complete response rate, even in patients with primary refractory disease, uh, with an overall response rate of 85%, a complete response of 67%. That are rates that compare favorably with uh, what was reported with chemo immunotherapy alone. And uh, with a medium follow-up, still short of this study, but with a medium follow-up of 12.6 months, uh, median duration of response, median progression free survival, and median overall survival were still not, not reached. So in conclusion, uh, in this very aggressive population, uh, I think that uh, this combination, Epcoritamab, uh, with uh, RDHAC or RDHAC, showed uh, promising uh, efficacy results that compares, as I said, uh, favorably with the findings of chemo immunotherapy alone, and uh, probably uh, supports further exploration of this combination in patients with relapse refractory DLBCL that are eligible for, for transplant.